Sausalito, California. One of the greatest crowds in the West gathers to witness the launching of a Liberty ship. There is something about this crowd, as there is about this ship, that is different from any other. Something you cannot see, yet something that all who are assembled here can feel. The presence of an unseen, yet vital personality. For the name of this ship is Jack London. Never was a Liberty ship more fittingly named. The fearless spirit and purpose of the man lives again in every member of its crew and invests the ship itself with true significance. For Jack London was more than a great author. He was a real American. He lived and wrote that others might be free. Free to read the truth. Free to right a wrong. Free to raise their voices on behalf of the welfare of their fellow men. Thing you know she's into it and the machine smashes her hand girls. Lots of times I've almost dozed off and just caught myself in time. It's the rotten air and the noise that never stops. Twelve hours a day beating in your brain. For ten cents. Ten cents an hour. Oh, I know, honey, but things are bad all over. It isn't that, Mammy Jenny. It's, it's just that people like us, poor people, have to work in filthy holes just to exist. And that other people, rich people, can have everything they want. Fine clothes and carriages are not only things, but time. Time to live and time to think and time to learn. That's what I want, Mammy Jenny. Time. I guess you're right, Jack. Mammy Jenny, have you got any money? Well, I've got some. Some I've been saving. Don't you lend it to me? What for? I want to get myself a boat. I can make money, lots of them, fast. Jack London, what are you thinking about? Oyster hauling. Oyster hauling? Oyster pirating, you mean? I wouldn't stay at it long, Mammy Jenny. Just a few hauls, and I'd have enough money to last me three months. A whole year, maybe. Then I'd be free to get some school.